And welcome to the Market Alert for Thursday the 16th of April 2015. And starting off in the five minute chart, uh, you can see yesterday the market uh, trading strongly through the 18,050 in the pre-market session. And if we just pop over to the daily chart, this is where we had the issue with the 76%. Well, the market uh, took advantage uh, pre-market, drove through with professional buying and then continued to make its way even uh, half an hour before then going through the 18,100 level. So the market opens at uh, 2.30, we see a bit of selling to start with and then the buying comes in within the first five minutes and this is followed by further buying and then uh, a bit more. But you can see the decline in the volume bars there. So as the market's moving up towards the 18,150, we know there's uh, a loss of momentum purely and simply by the price action there. Then see the market uh, put in an interesting bar here. This is uh, at uh, 10 to 3. And then we see some selling coming into the market, confirming this sort of indecision that we're, we're seeing here. And then we get a triple X signal here. So let's just uh, mark this one up. You can see that the uh, the market filling the order and then coming back. And again, this is the 10% stop on the triple X. And again, the 50% one, which I've been also trialing, is just above the psychological line, which is uh, always a good place for a stop loss as well, because we know that these areas are targeted for, so we could see the market come up to this, fail, take the stop out and then reverse and continue like it did here. So we're seeing the market uh, a trade sideways it went through again there then bounced back fortunately not taking out the stop and then we see the market uh, going through the entry price and then all the way down to the target price which is below the uh, 18,100 level we get some testing at this level and an increase in volume as well and at this point you can make a decision on whether you want to take the money or you want to hold and see if the uh, the market will uh, continue to trade lower we see in the next five minutes the market going through then the market's driven through and then we see the market finding support so had you used the trailing method on this one as we headed towards the quiet time we've got uh, the market there with this test like I say and then down at the scalp level so at this point you can always consider if you want to give the market a bit of room to breathe to move the stop to break even and then once the market breaks through like it did in this case taking out the low of the test as well then down uh, again you can see here there's an interesting uh, dynamic going on here you've got the professional selling here and then you've got the market just moving lower but uh, no further selling and again you can see this sort of increasing volume but the market's making no uh, sort of headway to the downside so there you've got uh, 18,086 off this trade had you trailed at 50% above the lower highs. But in this area here where you've got, uh, we're heading into a quieter session and you've also got um, the market trading at a major psychological level. We've got some testing there which is indicative of that type of activity. We've got some buying over here of course as well. So what we're doing is looking for the market to uh, break, down, uh, break back below this. So you could always move the stop to break even if you wanted to uh, uh, on this trade and give up that potential profit or take half off the table, move the stop to break even and then see if it goes through. But that way you could have actually maximized the profit a bit more. We've also got the two um, PTIs there as well. But with this already in existence, um, these really aren't valid. And also in real time yesterday as I was trading this, uh, this signal here didn't actually trade down to the target price but uh, on reloading the chart it shows that it does but I was already short from this signal here so as like I say these two really aren't valid because the entry at the target prices if we just put back in the triple uh, X there just to show you you can see there that we're already heading down into the scalp area when we get uh, these two signals so we're already short on this trade anyway We've then got uh, a potential buy sell, uh, sorry, a buy signal in the uh, in the quiet period here, PTP and triple X, and there you see the market continuing to move and eventually making its way up to the uh, scalp 
no, sorry, not the scalp, the psychological level of 18,150. But again, it's a choice that you would have to make during the session. So you can see the market driving through there and heading up towards that target. So again, there's nothing to stop you to move the stop from here to break even, take half the profits off, and then just wait and see what the market does. And eventually, it makes its way up to the psychological level. As we've seen, they're like magnets. Even if they come through, they want to get back. And if they go back through, they want to come back. So that's what we see here, the market then eventually heading up towards the psychological level of 18,150. So had you taken the money off the table around here and you decide to re-enter, uh, we have an issue, first of all, that we've seen a fairly big move from this signal up to here. We can see that we're around 70 odd points. There is no more economic news. But that aside, if you'd traded this, then uh, let me just mark these up for you. We've got the PTP there. We see the order being filled, which is just below the psychological lines, and then we get an opposing uh, PTI signal. Uh, plus, we have another uh, triple X there as well. So the market hits that resistance level and then puts in the sell for the PTI, which we see the market filling. So we take the loss on this one, which is around five to six points, make it eight points with the um spread so let's just remove the buy side there so now we're short and then we get a triple x to take us back to the upside so now we've got uh, the 18 at 18,141 to 150 so there's another nine points uh, potential loss there as well as the market reverses and then uh, we get the reversal again triple uh, x and pti so we'll just draw this in and then we've got uh, the difference between this one as well which is another six points and this is because the markets moved up in the background there's no more economic news there's no news to drive the market the markets hit a psychological level here of 18,150 it's 100 points higher than the resistance that we had in the 76 percent retracement as well so then we see the market uh, reverse and move all the way back down eventually to the psychological level because the market was struggling to move higher which we can see with these failed uh, buy signals there but again when you've got this sort of major move in the background and uh, you've also had a really good short a good long you're sitting there on 60 odd points then uh, do you really want to trade the last half hour of the session that's the question you've got to ask yourself in the daily chart, you can see that 18,050 taken out, or 51 as the 76% is. And we've also seen uh, the big 76% uh, now taken out as well, from this high to this low. And we're heading back up to uh, this uh, price here, which is 18,207, which is uh, where we had a bit of a shakeout recently before the market found uh, support. And then finally on to the 18,280, which is the all-time high, which uh, I do believe is where we are actually heading to. On the news front today at uh, 3 p.m., we have a high-impact news item. You may want to stay out for this one. This is the Philly Fed Manufacturing Index. It's forecast, uh, oddly enough, to be very positive, uh, 6.5 compared to 5.0. This will send the market uh, higher should uh, that be the case and then at 6 and at 8 p.m. Uh, which is a bit of a pain really because uh, it's the evening session so my advice would be if you've made money in the afternoon session you may want to stand aside even though it's a medium impact news item Lockhart and Fisher are speaking and this is going to have a bullish effect on the market uh, too once uh, they speak or if it doesn't I'll be very very surprised as simple as that and finally in the implied uh, volatility we've got uh, 1136 uh, down nearly a whole point uh, yesterday 1231 uh, the day before for the implied volatility and again you can see that dropping down sharply you want to get down below 10 and that will give us an indication that we're due for another correction in the Dow Right, that's it uh, from me for this morning. See you in tomorrow's edition of the Market Alert. As ever, thank you for your support. Very much appreciated. And thanks also to those that have uh, 
written in, and that's also very much appreciated as well. I shall see you in tomorrow's. Thanks for watching.